feel really good about 2017. We've come off some really nice announcements uh, this year, uh, the most recent being Blue Origin uh, coming to the state of Alabama. If they get selected uh, by ULA, but we're pretty confident. They feel confident. Uh, it, it's been a, a good year in terms of aerospace and aviation all together. So uh, the Leonardo announcement uh, in Macon County, again, Leonardo is chasing the development of the new uh, TX trainer for the Air Force, which has been an existing platform for 40 years. So perhaps whoever wins this contract, and we want to make sure Leonardo does, so that they can build those planes in Macon County, Alabama, uh, we feel pretty good about their chances, but we're going to help them every way we can. So 2017 is looking good. Looking good from Forest Products production, new, new uh, expansions, new companies beginning operations in the state. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of movement and a lot of energy building in the automotive sector, particularly in Tier 2 and Tier 3 development. So we're feeling pretty confident. Uh, I think you're going to see more IT come in 2017. I believe we're going to have a, a nice announcement sometime soon in that regard. And, um, you know, I think, I think the prospects for 17 look good. Well, for so long, Alabama has been doing an excellent job attracting advanced manufacturing. And that's important because there are a lot of disruptive technologies that are disrupting basic manufacturing. So our focus on advanced manufacturing is embracing those companies and those industry sectors that are already embracing technology. And we think that will work to our advantage. But knowledge-based jobs are really where our next focus really has to be. Our, our idea is great things are made in Alabama. It is now time that they be researched, developed, and designed in the state of Alabama. So we want to see more of that creative work, more of that brain power, knowledge-based, technical development work come to our state. We believe if we do that, that that will provide the right foundation to provide the anchor for those industry sectors and keep them in the state in a real healthy fashion. We really recognize in commerce that every region is has similarities one to the other, but we really find strength in identifying the unique strengths of those regions. In the Birmingham region, it's absolutely hands down a great economy and a great ecosystem to support innovation. So Accelerate Alabama 2.0 is the, the, next, the next version of the original Accelerate Alabama. What we learned from Accelerate Alabama was that we win when we target. And so we continue targeting selected industries that have been identified as growth industries and growth opportunities for the state. So um, in focusing in that regard, what, what it allows us to do is really make sure that we've got the right uh, workforce to meet those requirements. And then for the industry targets, the primary targets, such as aerospace, forest products, food products, automotive, chemistry, metals, and specialty materials, we can really target the individual companies that are leaders in those particular sectors and really dive in and get active to recruit them.